Welcome to Digital Toolbox. So there we're going to create another attractor, but this time we're going to um, create the attractors on a surface, not on a, two, a 2D plane. And on a surface, it, you give a 3D attraction, such as if I move this point further down near the surface, you get a different attraction. And I can also apply this to a curve. So if I reconnect this to the distance here, now if I move the curve around, the the circles are changing um, based on the position of the curve itself. So if I move the curve more more close to the surface, or it will be affected. So to create this, I'm going to use some of the old definitions. So the first um, definition I'm going to pull out is the explode and divide tutorial definition. And here I'm going to set the surface. So make sure you guys clear the surface, um, clear values first before you guys set it. And I'm going to set one surface. So now we have our exploded surface into panels, and we're not going to need the divide points. We just need a divide, um, I mean, the explode surface and from the subsurface. And the next thing we need to do is find the normal to each surface so our circles are laid out correctly. So I'm going to go into the evaluate surface tutorial definition, and I'm going to copy and copy these, sli these sliders and buttons. You only need these three, so I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go to the explode and divide. And I'm going to paste this. And then I'm going to grab, go to geometry and grab surface from, and then I'm going to apply faces to this. And I'm going to unpreview the explode because I don't want to see the vertices. And these are the surface that we want to evaluate. And then I'm going to go into the, uh, the old definition on the attractors of two curves. And that's the attractor, the attractor um, tutorials. And I'm just going to copy these buttons here and uh, the sliders too so the cur the closest point, the distance, the f of x, the minimum and the circle and I'm just gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it in the explode and div divide tutorial definition I'm gonna just zoom out here a little real quick So now we need to set our curve. So I'm just going to grab a curve curve button. I'm going to apply this to curves. And I'm also going to grab a point. So I'm going to set this point right now. And I'm also going to set the curve. So if we want to figure out the distance, we can just apply A into the points that we want to evaluate, which is from the evaluate surface. And then B will be into the point. And then R will go into the circle. And then the circle, the origin of the circle will be at the P. And then we want to orientate each circle to the surface plane. So then the evaluate surface gives us the normal vector. And that will go into N. And now each circle is normal to that surface. So if I go into perspective here, you can, you can see that. So if you want to apply to a curve, all you got to do is reconnect P into B and not the point. And I also have to apply this P into the points. So now it's applied. So now now it's uh, the attractors are working with the curve and not the point. And if I want to reconnect it to point, just, you just have to switch it out. And that's how you create an attractor on a surface. And thanks for watching.